Do you collect wooden railway? Are you satisfied with your collection? Do you have certain items you want to possess, or do you consider yourself an elite that has everything that they want? Do you think you have enough items to worry about on your watch list going from internet marketplace to internet marketplace? Well, too bad. Ah, great, I broke it. I had to go through the same thing when I got back into the fandom. No one ever told me about a plane track or a factory set or a supersized criticized five engine gift pack, but I saw it. With the expansive merchandise line that is Thomas Wooden Railway, there will definitely be those items that slip under the radar as obscure gems lost to history. And that will be the topic of today's video. Top 10 rarest wooden railway items that nobody really talks about. Number 10! Early Engineer's Victor. Wooden Railway Early Engineer's Line. As I like to call it, Learning Curve's Last Strike. Small engines for small hands. This system was created in 2010, right before Tomy took over the franchise in 2012. And because of that, the early engineers line was cut short. Therefore, the early engineers engines released in 2011 are quite hard to find. In particular, Victor, Hero, and Spencer. Now I can find Spencer quite well. That was easy. But Victor and Hero are really hard to find. And that is because they are UK exclusive items. Now the reason why I chose Victor is just because that was the first item that I could think of. But just to keep in mind, Hero is just as rare as Victor is. You know this guy named Thomas Collectibles? This YouTuber has every wooden railway item that I have ever seen. But I bet you that out of all the Thomas and Friends wooden railway items out there, the one item that he doesn't have is the early engineer's victim. Oh. Not impressed. Number nine! The tracks and rail muffle maps and set. I'm pretty sure none of you have seen what this looks like. And I don't have it myself, but I do have a screenshot of it. And here it is. Go ahead. Take a screenshot. This ain't no NFT. Come on, what are we doing? Okay, anyway, while the Muffle Mountain set was released until 2001 in the United States, it was released until 2003 in Australia and Japan. Therefore, it transitioned over to the Traction Rail version. The Traction Rail version of the Muffle Mountain doesn't look too different, but the gold bumpy track is a little different. Learning Curve would eventually make more golden track in the future with the Traction Rail pattern on it, but with this bumpy tracked version, you can't really see the traction rail markings as well. It's lighter, so therefore, you can't really see it as well. Also, they did not change the packaging of this item. They kept it as the clickety-clack track packaging until 2003, when it got discontinued. Number A! Yellow Stacking Risers. There are many different color variations of the stacking risers such as a roadway version, your standard red version, the one with, you know, switches, a blue version. Not sure what other versions there are, but they're probably there. There's also an orange and blue variant from the transfer yard set. That one is pretty rare, but I wanted to go for something more obscure. This is the yellow and olive green stacking risers from the Thomas and Birdie story pack released in 2010 to 2011. The weird part is, at the back of the packaging, it shows birdie on the tracks, which means they didn't even include any roadway paths on the set. The yellow and dark green are kind of an odd combination, but it worked enough to, to get past the drawing board and get released. Number seven, Brendam Docks Bridge. Despite what this title may suggest, this isn't some rare variant of the Sodor Bay Bridge. It's actually really, really short. This is from the Cranky the Crane set, a Target exclusive released from 2007 to 2009. This came with an exclusive short red bridge. In terms of the entire set, the bridge is just randomly placed there. I wish they would have made a longer bridge for this set, but hey, there's not really going to be any bridges near the docks. Other than that, it's a pretty cool item. Number six, Reneus and the Dinosaur Story Pack. Unlike the rest of these items on this list, I've actually found this one on eBay a few times. 
So technically, this is the least rare item on this list, but it's still quite obscure. This is a Toys R Us exclusive set from 2010 featuring an exclusive tunnel and crane. These items were designed greatly, nice. and it would have been cool if they could combine with a set like the Tomasaurus Rex set. But other than that, nice and prehistoric. Except it's in history. My history. Number five! Day Out with Thomas 2007 track piece. Unlike the exclusive merchandise pieces released every year, even to this day, these exclusive track pieces never really caught on. They were only released for 2006 and 2007. I already reviewed the 2006 track piece a while ago, and I still haven't found the 2007 track piece ever since then. It has a slightly different font compared to the 2006 track piece, and I'm not really sure how many were produced. Maybe nobody really cared about these, and nobody bought them. Not really too sure. Number four, the Thomas travel bag. Bags. Thomas bags. Binya, binya. Thomas bags for wooden trains. Thomas bags for wooden trains with artwork on them. Thomas bags for wooden trains with artwork on them released exclusively at AC Moore in 2006. That's the Thomas travel bag. It came with Thomas, Percy, and interestingly enough, Lady. But other than that, the artwork it's pretty much the same compared to the Tidmouth Station travel set. The artwork does use an updated design from the Tidmouth Station travel set with red bricks on the building and a small banner that says Thomas and Friends on top. Not much else except it's a little bag you can store your wooden engines in, even though you're probably just going to store them in your attic later on. Number three, the 2005 Special Engine Shed. The Special Engine Shed has been around in Wooden Railway ever since the very, very, very beginning. However, more updated complex sheds have come up, such as the Works Engine Shed and the Roundhouse. There are different versions of the Roundhouse. Basically saying, hey Special Engine Shed, you had a good run, but it's time for you to go. However, I guess Australia wanted to be more preservative of the history, and they did not discontinue the Special Engine Shed. It lasted in Australia until 2011. And in 2005, various graphics were updated on various items, and the same thing happened to the Special Engine Shed in that year. The whole thing had a more red paint job to it, with more colorful windows, and they also completely painted the back. Not that much else changed, however, and the roof pretty much stayed the same. And interesting enough, the works engine shed lasted until 2011 in the UK, but they did not update the graphics. The only thing they updated was the connectors. And speaking of which, number two, the 2009 arched viaduct. Now this item, no one has really seen or even talked about, but it does exist. The arched viaduct was discontinued in the United States around 2008. Ooh, so close. Because in 2009, various plastic connectors were updated to be, instead of round, to be flat. Because they kept falling off and children kept eating them. And they did update the arched viaduct. Well then how is it possible that the arched viaduct has these connectors if it got discontinued in 2008? Well, play sets containing the arched viaduct were not discontinued. One of the sets that includes this brand new arched viaduct is the Knapford Station set, which does not include Knapford Station for some reason. But as you can see right there, there it is the 2009 Arched Viaduct, and it also exists in the Engineer's Sling Bridge set. There it is again. Both of these sets are European exclusive. However, there's one wooden railway item out there that's different from all of these. First of all, it's not as durable as all the other items. And I'm not saying it's because it was one of the first ever made, but because the item is not even made out of wood, it's not made out of metal, it's not made out of plastic, 
It's made out of cardboard. Number one. Ah! The Henry and the Elephant set, and also the Reneus and the Dinosaur Bone set. These two sets are quite similar with their one little feature. That the rare part of the item, it is made out of the packaging. There is a cardboard cutout on the back of both of the sets. An elephant for the Henry and the Elephant set, and a dinosaur for the Reneus and the Dinosaur Bones set. What were you expecting, an octopus? The whole thing about this is that cardboard cutout is the main attraction of the set. Because if you don't have that, well then you're either just going to get some figure 8 set or some oval set. Now of course, since the set piece is made out of cardboard and they did not include any extras, it's definitely not going to last long. So you'd have to buy the set new in the box in order to have all the pieces to it. That's what makes it unique and one of the rarest wooden railway items that nobody ever talks about. Because who cares about some piece of cardboard? I do. You know, there are a lot of items I could have included on this list. Like the troublesome brake van, the white faced troublesome truck, or even something like the Thomas and Friends Magic Railroad figures. But all of those have already been talked about many times and are known by many different people. So, do I own any of these items? No, I don't. Do you own any of these items? I don't know. So feel free to tell us in the comments if you know about this item or if you've seen it before. Anyways, that's it for now, and I will see you in the next video.